Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. As you can see here, I have my Simplex 4010 demonstration board with a few new devices. First of all, you'll probably notice these two alarms up here. This right here is a uh, Simplex 4903. It used to be a horn strobe, but the horn came dead and it was cracked and everything, so I mounted a Gentex GXS remote strobe to it. Um, you're going to probably say that I wasted a perfectly good device, but this thing was cracked, the horn was broken, it was very brittle. And I was going to throw it away anyways, so I decided to mount something to it before I did throw it away. The other alarm you're probably going to notice right here is the Simplex 2903-9001 with a um, Federal Signal HP mechanical horn behind it. Um, so that's actually the first time I've used that horn on a system, and the first time in 2903 has been on the 4010. For pulse stations, we have the Simplex 4099-9004, which is right there, which is addressable. And right there we have an FCI MS2 with a monitor module inside of that box right there. Um, and down there, there is a monitor module where there's no pole station. And if you remember uh, in some of my other videos, you can kind of see on the back of this, there's a 4009 and an enunciator and some more devices. In this test, we're not going to be testing that stuff because I don't really want to uh, flip it around and there's no devices back there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the panel before we start. You know, this thing is very loud. And in the system test, I am joined by... And, and some dude with an exit sign. Yep. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and pull the T-bar. In three, two, one. And as you probably heard, it was set to fast march time, which I forgot to mention before, but yeah, that's fast march time. And now we can go ahead and pull the FCI MS2. In three, two, one. pretty loud. So now we can go ahead and try to reset these without moving them into a real arm. Like that. And I actually took the FCI key off my key ring just to make it easier. This thing kind of takes a long time to reset. There we go. Alright, we can go ahead and exit out of there. Obviously, there's a battery fault because I did not want to take batteries out of the 3030 for this. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, is there anything you guys want to say before we end the video? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, there will be, so be a link to both their channels in the description. Obviously, subscribe to them, subscribe to me, join our Discord server, which we're all three of us are part of. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. No, show.